Thanks y'all, this is probably one of the most impactful videos that I have seen this year. I saw this video on Elliot's channel first and it really touched me so much. I'm sitting there watching it on my phone and I'm crying. And I even, I said it in the comments. I left a comment. I said, yo, I'm literally sitting here crying right now watching this video. So I had to share this on my channel as well. Um, I'll link where this video came from down below in the description. I don't know who this dude is. I'm trying to figure out who this guy is. I would love to know who this guy is. If anyone knows who this dude is, please let me know because, yo, I'm trying to have a conversation. All right, so let's get into this video. I'll pause it to, you know, give my commentary here and there. But for the most part, I kind of just want to let it play um, just so y'all can hear the message. All right, let's get into it. It's frustrating. I'm trying to listen to God. I, I got my own flesh and my pulling me here, my own desires, my family, my friends, all these things is, is, is distracting me from the truth. And it's difficult. To give in, especially when you're young, man. But if you can go through it, you'll come out like gold. If I can go through the fire, they don't want to go through the fire. They want the lotto and go to Jamaica and the Bahamas and do their own selfish thing. But he said, if you wait till I exalt you, I give you desires of your heart. But it's difficult to wait because everybody in a hurry. Technology, it's, it's fast, it's in a hurry. They're angry, they're frustrated, they got time, they're on the cell phone, they want to text message you, y'all in the same car, you gonna text message him, he right there. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hurry, I don't know where they going, but when they get there, oh, they gonna be sorry. Mm. The faster you try to get there, that career, that money, and you gonna figure it out that, man, it was the journey. It was not the destination. You was in a hurry to get there, to come up, to be this, to be that. And when you get there, you're going to feel discouraged more than you did before you even started to get there. Because it was the journey. The people that you didn't stop to talk to like me at Chicken. The people at the gas station. You was in a hurry to get there, but it was the journey. It was the gas station. It's Chicken. It's the journey, not the destination. Because the destination is steadily evolving. We always grow in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's always evolving. And we can never obtain it because it's, it's steadily, constantly evolving. The more humble you be, then the more you can be fulfilled with the truth. But when you think you got it and you're on your way, then you gonna get less of it because can't nobody talk to you. You can't stop. You're in a hurry. I would say this, it's a man with pushing a basket. This man right here, they brilliant now. Don't, don't look at the outside appearance. I've seen him in action. He was pushing a basket. And I was under the bridge and I was talking to everybody except him. He was the last person I talked to. He said, why didn't you talk to me first? He said, I should have talked. He said, don't you ever pass by a man pushing a basket and don't acknowledge him. I, I never do it in my life again. I talked to the person pushing that basket. How's your day? How you doing? I talked to the holy people because he said, be careful how you entertain strangers. Mm. And most people that, that came off the street and they got their career together, they won't even let you know that they've been through it. They try to act brand new. They, it's a testimony. What you go through, what you go through, it's for us to inspire somebody else. It's for me to pull the weak ones up. It's for you to pull the weak ones up. We don't go through this because of our own selfish reasons. We go through this to give them a testimony of how far God has brought me. It, it was never about me. I thought about me. Why I'm going through this? He said, back up, man. Who you gonna inspire? Who you gonna tell somebody about the glory and the grace of God if you don't go through it? Get out of yourself. And once I step back, I've been seeing the deep things of God. And so I don't play with it. I don't ask him for a lot. I just say, give me my, my portion for the day. I don't want a lot of things. Just give me enough that I can deal with. 
He said, I give you a but fulfill your bond greater than you can ever ask. I know what you desire, I know what you need. But Lord, give me my portion where I can be grateful. Where I can be thankful. They unthankful, they unholy, they ungrateful, they got a job, they don't want the job, they got 40 hours. You can't work on Saturdays, you can't work on Sundays. Now you got three days. You they always complaining and griping and murmuring. Stop it. He said, be grateful with the little things. And wait, and I, I put you there. But he gonna put us in a place where they appreciate me and the job. I don't hate going to work. I gotta watch my back, they backstab. You making the money, but I can't go to the job because I gotta watch my back. They hate us. Put me somewhere where I love going to work. I can get up and they appreciate my work and I blend in. God say, I'm, I'm gonna put you there, but if you wanna get it, go ahead and get it. What do you think about haters? That's a part of the, the balance in life. They hate, they don't know why they hate. Tell them why they hating sometimes. Mm. They don't know they hating. It, it's just standard thing. They get angry. He taught. Every way we taught them. They hate. They don't even know why. Mm. Because they don't to teach them. They don't to take time to let them know why they're doing things they're doing. And that's the whole purpose of life. Let them know what they're doing wrong if you see it. I always knew I was doing wrong. What about when they showed me long suffering? What about when they forgave me, but I can't forgive him? He did, he made a promise. I made a promise, I didn't fulfill it. Then they go off on me. Well, I gotta go off on him because he didn't fulfill his commitment. That's wrong. You gotta teach. They don't know. The only God they know is through you, mm. through your experience. They don't know about church because you can't go to church because it's a business and all the church people, it's a clique, it's a club mm. and they done forgot about God, it's a business. Look here, it's just the world. Ain't nobody being bold and talking about God because don't pray in school, take the prayer out of school, all these things, it's the world. We're getting in a time where God is not popular no more. And if you talk about it, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. I believe in this. I don't care what you believe in. Let my spirit speak for me. Mm. Let my action. But it was a time when I was just a hearer and not a doer. Wow. But you got to balance out. You got to go through the fire in order to be a doer too. You're going to be a hearer, then you're going to be a doer. But don't let people... Throw you off your journey. You can't beat nothing. To, it's between your relationship with God. They can't understand you all the time because you're trying to figure out your way. I'm trying to figure out my way. I can't prove nothing to them all the time. I don't need them to figure me out. All I gotta do is just be patient and do what was in my ability, my boundary. I don't need to outstep my boundary. I ain't gotta prove nothing to you. You didn't feel me? No. You can't you gonna feel me. I can't put the expectations on you. I don't always feel me, understand me. So that's wrong. Be humble. Acknowledge him in all your ways. When I do wrong, I say something wrong to offend you. Forgive me. I got to say it right away. Get it over with. If I offend somebody at work, look, if, if they persecute me, look at God trying to strengthen me to show them who I serve. I say I believe. I'm walking with it. Well, teach them. They don't know. They don't know why they doing that, why they doing that to me. Let, let your light shine among men. They might glorify your father in heaven. It's real, man. I experience it all the time. 24 7. But I asked for it. I wanted to be a preacher when I was six, but I didn't know the price I had to pay. Much wisdom, much grief, much sorrow. Ain't no other way you gonna get it. But if you can just go through the fire, you'll be like, go. The first thing they do when you go to a pawn shop and take them, what do they do? How do they determine if it's gold plated or, or, or what? What do they do? What kind of test they take it through? When you take the jury to the pawn shop, how do they determine if it's real or fake? They put it through the acid test. They put the fire upon it. This is how we know if we're real or fake. We're going to go through the fire. You're going to have disagreement with each other, but it's okay. You're going to
can be friends, but if you have a disagreement, it's just a disagreement. That don't mean you ain't got to see him no more and talk to her or talk to her or whatever. I want to go to work. I, I don't want to go to work because they stressing me out on the job. You feel me? They ain't receiving me with my full potential. And I don't know why I don't want to go to work. I got to understand why. Why don't I want the job? Because something ain't right. And I got to acknowledge it. I ain't going to sell my soul for the job. God said, I'm trying to put you over here. Or I'm trying to let you, let them know through you, let your light shine. But I'm hating on them. Because they ain't feeling me. They don't understand me. Hey Amen. You got to teach them. You see how they flee? Yeah. They want a dollar, want a quarter. He could have got everything that he needed if he just would have been patient, but it's okay. You recording this? Yeah. It's okay. I'm telling the truth. It's all right. I thank God for you. Y'all are blessing to me. A true blessing. I ain't got nothing to hide. My burdens are heavy, but when I'm weak, he's strong through me. He speaks through me. The weaker I get, the more frustrated I get with my life. And I did this, I did that. Then the more he speaks through me, the more he takes control of me. That's just what he wants you at. Get frustrated. That's what he gonna speak through you. But you gotta, you, he gotta get you in that point where ain't nowhere else to go but to him. He said, those that I love, I correct them. Mm. I chastise them. Solomon was the wisest man that lived. He had everything that man could desire. But one thing God said, leave the fire women alone. Mm. But he couldn't understand why he had a desire for the fire women. But see, the Lord knew that they were going to turn his heart against him. They were going to make him idol worship and build a God. But he didn't understand it. And I'm going to say this, the preacher, he searched the world out. He said, I want to know the, the, the basis behind wisdom and knowledge and understanding and foolishness. See, you can't know wisdom and knowledge and you should be a fool, but we don't want to be foolish. That's the only way you're going to get it. You got to be a fool first. How are you going to know a fool when you see a fool? How are you going to know foolishness if you haven't been foolish? Foolishness, it comes with, it's painful. Because we think we all are that. We got a lot of abilities. We can create. We can send man to the moon. We can be inventors, but we're limited. If I understand that I'm limited, then that's when God takes control and gives me the wisdom that I, I desire. Humility. Be humble. If you don't understand your purpose, ask God. But ask him in sincerity, what's my purpose, God? Did you ever ask that question? What's my purpose? Why I'm here? What am I meant to do? But sometimes he can't tell us all at once. It might be too much. But be sincere. <sighs> y'all, he's sitting in the rain. I don't know if y'all see the rain. <clears throat> the whole time he's speaking, it's raining, and it's pouring. He has his food in his hand. And he's speaking straight wisdom for 13 minutes straight. Straight wisdom. And we live in this world where everyone is so busy. Everybody is so distracted. We have phones. We have social media. And our, our attention is always on something other than where we are in the moment. And just like he said, we forget to acknowledge people. We forget to talk to, to people. We forget to ask people how their day was. We forget to share the good news of Jesus Christ with people because we're so busy. We're so distracted. We're always trying to get somewhere, but we don't even know where we're going. We're always in a hurry to go somewhere that we don't even know the destination. We're always so discontent with where we are that we forget to stop and, and realize like, yo, this is a blessing. I prayed for this moment. I'm literally sitting in a blessing. I'm sitting in an answered prayer and we forget to thank God for it.
you never know when you might be entertaining angels. I feel like God was speaking through this man. Either God was speaking through him or he was an angel. Because every single word was gold. Every single word. I think in my own life, and this probably could be the same for a lot of people, taking time to appreciate where we are, where God has pos positioned us, and sincerely, just like you said, sincerely asking God, what is my purpose? But specifically, what is my purpose here in this place, in this season where you have stationed me? Who do you want me to talk to? Who do you want me to impact? What message do you want me to share? I don't know, man. That was a beautiful message. It's probably one of the most powerful messages that I've heard this year. Um, and man, I would love to talk to this dude. I would love to talk to him. I don't know who he is. I don't know how old this video is. Um, but if anyone knows who this is, let me know, because I would love to talk to him, have him on the channel. Um, and just, you know, be in this dude's presence, because obviously it seems like he's gone through a lot. He's been through a lot. But the one thing that you could tell that is unshakable is his faith. I don't know what his environment is like. I don't know what his his career is like, his work, his home life, his his family, his relationships. I don't know what any of that is 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 like. But I could tell that his faith is not shaken. But it's actually made stronger because of everything that he's gone through in his life. And I think that's a part of the purpose that we have here on this earth. Good, bad, or indifferent, everything is used for our good. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Uh, get in the comments. Like this video if you like this video. I'm out.